everyone, Service Mike from Royal Truck and Trailer. Today we're talking about the automatic slack adjuster. We'll talk about how to adjust your automatic slack adjuster, and we'll talk about maintenance for your automatic slack adjuster. Let's get started. This particular operator said that he was having trouble stopping this vehicle, and so one of the first things you want to do is physically look at the brakes and the drums, make sure they're not too far worn, and make sure there's no glazing going on inside the drums. These look good, so the next thing we're going to talk about are the slack adjusters adjusting themselves properly so we will do this one and we will see if this slack adjuster if these slack adjusters are working properly the tools we'll need to do this adjustment is a half inch ratchet with a 7 16 six point socket there is this red tool that is made for doing this job that you could purchase and we are going to use a grease gun we're going to grease the slack adjuster when we're done and our safety glasses. Let's get started. Okay, so from below the unit, we get to our slack adjuster. Here's our adjusting nut. We will make sure our brakes are released, meaning that the red button is pushed in and the maxis are retracted. Then we will put our ratchet on the nut and we'll tighten up this clockwise. Just to where it's taut. From there, we back it off a good half a turn. Start at nine o'clock. Go to six, back to nine, back to six. That loud grunting you heard was the slack adjuster itself releasing that adjustment. These are designed not to back off. So when you hear that noise, it lets you know that this slack adjuster is trying its best to hold that adjustment. If you were to back your brakes off and did not hear that noise or did not feel any resistance against the, the nut, that would probably indicate the slack adjuster is bad and should be replaced. We're going to grease this slack adjuster. This is very important maintenance. There is a grease fitting located right under the adjustment nut. Just hold the grease gun on there. Give it a couple of good pumps. You can actually see it starting to come out along the back. And that's really all you need. Get a rag, clean off the excess so it doesn't gather dirt. So today we grease and adjusted our brakes on this trailer and we know that we need to grease our trailers very often but manually adjusting our brakes is not good for the slack adjusters there, that mechanism in there does not want to back off as you heard by that grunting noise so as long as your brakes do not throw push rod travel of more than two inches your brakes are in adjustment and don't need to be adjusted manually if you have any comments or suggestions for future videos we'd love to hear your suggestions please leave them below Thank you and have a great day.